A cornerstone of green architecture is a building's equilibrium with its surrounding ecosystem. Among the busy routines of modern life, it's easy to forget the role our natural environment plays in our day-to-day -day existence. Green building seeks to acknowledge the importance of our natural world and create a harmonious balance within its framework. At the site of our green home in Manhasset, New York, the presence of rainfall throughout the year is both a threat to the building and a necessity to the environment surrounding it. Through the use of drainage systems and dry wells, both of these concerns can be addressed. If water comes off of the roof, falls down to the ground, you want a way of the water to actually shed itself away without uh, puddling and ponding around the house most cases traditionally it's been into going into dry wells. Uh, what we're planning on doing is uh, creating a cistern. That's a very, very large tank. Uh, we're coming up with something that's about 13,000 gallon tank. The water from the roof goes into the piping system, is directed all the way to this cistern tank, and the rainwater uh, will actually fill up the tank. The water then is used to irrigate the, uh, the property, uh, sprinkler systems for the gardens, for the lawn. The grading of the land surrounding the home is kept at a minimum slope of six inches over a span of 10 feet to provide a positive runoff of rainwater during construction. The final grade of the land will be set at an even greater slope in order to ensure the continued runoff of rainwater. So there's, there's no, no need to irrigate the property with public water. We're just using groundwater that has been recycled throughout the system. To maintain a dry basement, the strategies of design start at the outside and take each layer of building into consideration. The whole idea of, of, of uh, building performance is to keep water out of the building. All systems that are designed for this, uh, you know, the roof, the walls, the foundation, all eventually wind up down at, at the footing. Footing drains divert groundwater away from the wall, reducing hydraulic pressure to the structure. The monolithic waterproofing membrane sheds moisture and water from penetrating the foundation wall. The inside wall is insulated to reduce the buildup of condensation. The concrete slab is laid over insulation and a vapor barrier. This reduces condensation on the slab and provides a capillary break from the ground. The foundation wall is separated from the footing with a membrane to provide an additional capillary break. All of these details reduce unwanted moisture from entering the basement, providing a healthy environment and protecting the home's structural elements from decay. One of the benefits of, of uh, building green is to utilize uh, recycled materials or materials that are made out of recycled content. Uh, one of the best is, is structural steel. The structural steel that makes up our green home is fabricated from a material that is a minimum of 20% recycled steel. So we're taking old cars and uh, old grocery carts and anything that's made out of steel gets melted down and gets reused in more functional, usable material, such as structural steel. The floor system is comprised of TJI engineered wood joists, which are fabricated using wood chips and scrap wood. These lightweight, easy to install joists can accommodate longer spans than even conventional lumber. The subflooring is made out of the same material. It's, it's all uh, wood chips. Uh, that have been uh, ground and milled and, and put into a, into a press with, uh, with glues under heat and pressure. It, you, you have this structural panel that um, is much more rigid 
than um, plywood. It actually winds up being less expensive than dimensional uh, plywood. Um, and it's made out of recycled materials. The wall construction incorporates one of the most promising new designs of green architecture, the structurally insulated panel, or SIP. For this green home, the SIP system is manufactured by Thermosteel using a steel channel frame filled with an expanded polystyrene insulation core. Acting as a replacement for conventional framing methods, the SIP panels allow for high insulation and vapor resistance, maintaining a thermal barrier through low air infiltration. It actually provides the, the structural framework for the house. It provides a air uh, barrier to keep air from moving in and out of the house and it provides a um, moisture and water resistant barrier all in one material uh, where if we were building uh, a conventional house we would have to have each of those materials applied to, to the structure. Each panel is custom built to the specifications of the construction then shipped to the site from Thermosteel's manufacturing plant. We start with a set of drawings they go and go through a shop drawing process where each wall is designed with its openings and, and, and height and it is manufactured that way. So when, when the panels arrive at the job site, it is a pre-assembled panel. Every panel is unique and carefully interlocked to create the framework for our green home. The amount of planning to ensure sustainable building and living at this site reflects the goals of green architecture as a whole. By existing in harmony with our natural environment, we can begin to reduce the enormous toll we take upon it. This is one more green home dedicated to that cause.